What's going on YouTube? K-Rob here back with another Jujutsu Kaisen manga reading chapter 247 to 251. We finally caught up y'all. It has been a long journey but it didn't feel too long to me bro. You know what I'm saying? We got through these chapters pretty fast you know. I appreciate every single one of y'all that came through and just stuck around for the journey for real. I'm glad I can experience this for the first time with a lot of people and on top of that shout out to y'all for not spoiling bro. Like I think we had like one little small incident with spoilers but like after that bro like it's been smooth sailing after that bro so i appreciate y'all uh there might have been some people spoiling but you know for the most part a lot of y'all were not spoiling y'all were just saying like yo prepare for what's coming up next so that made me even more excited to read on bro i'm not gonna lie but yeah shout out to the people that's been here since post shibuya incident and also shout out to the people that came through you know what i'm saying during chapters and like mid chapters like mid culling game and all that shout out to y'all for real i highly appreciate y'all since we are caught up i gotta wear my robe today you know what i'm saying a lot of y'all don't know the significance of this robe but this robe right here for the people who know, know, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you know, you know type of deal. That's all I got to say about it. But anyways, thank y'all so much. I highly appreciate every single one of y'all. And without further ado, let's jump right in to the manga read. All right, y'all. Chapter 247, Domain Amplification Reignited. What intrigued Sukuna even more than that was the interruption caused by domain amplification and the subsequent resumption of his technique's effect. The genius Higuruma, what is it of his talent that shines so brightly? Hey, this is about to be some crazy fights here, y'all. I can tell already. When I activated amplification in my fight with Gojo Satoru, I paid close attention to only pause and not invalidate Maharaga's adaptation. He too is managing to keep his sword alight between amplifications. There's no doubt about it. This man is working with a profoundness of his ability at a level similar to me. This man Higuruma not even a vet for real. Like he's not even like a like a seasoned sorcerer, bro. Bro just became a sorcerer like a couple months ago. Like that is crazy. And on top of that, he's learning as he goes. So that makes him even more crazy, bro. That's why he's a genius, bro. He could he could learn on the fly like that. And to be rivaled in talent with Gojo and Sukuna now, like, come on, bro. Like, y'all can't tell me this man Higuruma is not goaded, bro. He he's the truth for real. Higuruma Hiromi, right? Oh wait, what? Yo, what? <laughs> Yo, my man didn't even say yeah. That's my name. Nah, he said nah. Forget names. I'm, I want straight hands. All four of them. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, Yuji. Yo, my boy Yuji and Higuruma, bro. Oh my goodness. This fight is about to go down in history. Oh my goodness, dog. Oh, oh no. <laughs> no. Take a look in the mirror, brat. You're a bore. Dude, my man Sukuna is tossing Yuji around like he's Andy, bro. He's literally like Andy from Toy Story. He don't want to play with the toys anymore, bro. Like, he's like, I don't want to play with you no more, Itadori. Leave me alone, you little kid, you brat. Like, my man told him to take a good look in the mirror. Like, that is crazy. Hey, Sukuna really told Yuji to read the room, bro. Like, <laughs> the disrespect is crazy. There isn't a single interesting bone in that body. <laughs> The disrespect, bro. Not like you weren't in his body for a majority amount of the time, bro. Like, this is crazy. Dude. <laughs> Sukuna want Higuruma. That's the thing, bro. He wants strictly one-on-one -on -one with Higuruma, for real. Oh. He, wait, he just got to hit him with that sword once, right? Because, like, if he hits him with that sword, it's insta-death. Damn, but, like, nah. It's, it's going to be kind of tough, though. This man Sukuna is fast, bro. Scale of the dragon. Recoil. Twin meteors. Oh, here we go, bro. Here we go, y'all. Dismantle. Oh. <laughs> Yo, heal yourself, dude. <laughs> this Sukuna is disrespectful, bro. Oh, go on and try. No, he's still holding on to that sword, though, y'all. He's still holding on to that sword. Nah, this is this is he fighting to the death. This boy Higuruma. I respect Higuruma so much for this, bro. So much for this. As someone who is like literally not familiar with like the sorcerers and all that, like jujitsu, all that, like, bro, he is actually him though, for real. To put himself on the front lines like this, respect, man. I got respect, bro, for this. It's laughable, really. No matter how cold hearted I've become, no matter how thorough my resolve, the pain is still as clear as day. Is this as far as you go? No. No. Please use reverse curse technique. Please, please, please. No. Higuruma, nah. Don't don't go out like this, though. Don't go out like this, bro. Don't go out like this. Don't go out to a dismantle, bro. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Next is your head. 
You'll need reverse curse technique. You know that, don't you? Or like Yuji or something, bro. Like I know Yuji got like sliced up, but dang, bro. I, I need somebody. Somebody come help this man. Come on, give it your best shot. Otherwise, it's the end of the line for you. I think I should play my role to its completion and die in this fight. And that's what he said to Yuji. My role. Wait. I know that's not what I think it is. Is that a piercing blood? This is that older brother, the deaf wound paintings. So stubborn. <laughs> Yo, oh my god. Dude, dude. Bro, he used RCT so fast. Oh, wait. Oh. 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 <laughs> nice shot, I suppose. He severed his own hand before I pierced it. Wait, it wasn't connected to him. This man Sukuda is bro. Bro, 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 bro. <laughs> no way. Curse is getting stronger post-mortem. I wouldn't call it impossible. If anything, I'd say that would match our general understanding of curses more accurately. My role. That's what I like to see. Oop! Whoa. No! Wait, was Yuji too late? No! Higuruma! You've got it from- Boy, what? They, did they give my man Higuruma the Nanami treatment? No way! Not to Itadori again, bro. Itadori gotta relive that again, bruh. Is you for real, bruh? Oh, no, bruh, nah. This, nah. No way. No way, bruh. I've done what I can. I am a Jujutsu Sorcerer. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute, Yuji. Wait a minute. Wait, my man, you, bro. Dog, nah, Yuji's rage is crazy, dog. Look at this. <laughs> they really did my man Higuruma like that. I've done what I can. No way, bro. I'm, I'm in a loss for words, bro. He's really gone, y'all. Like. Is he's really dead, bro? They actually killed off Higuruma, bro. I actually enjoyed Higuruma's character, and you know what? That's what I realized, bro. When you enjoy a character in this in this series, bro, it's over with, bro. It, it's it's so bad. It's so bad, bro. It's so bad. They couldn't give this man the light, bro. They could not give Higuruma any more light because Higuruma was learning way, way too fast. It was just rapid, bro. As we were reading, he just he was just getting OP. It was, cr bro, it was bound to happen, bro. That is crazy. Chapter 248, y'all. A lethal strike entrusted to Yuji by Higuruma, and yet... Higuruma! Dude, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> nah, Yuji, I need you to slide, bro. I need you to get your get back, bro. That... That right there, that, that gotta fill you up with some type of rage, bro, for real. Show me something, dog. This Sukuna dude has to go, bro. He has to go. Oh, oh. Even after his death, Kamutoka is still gone. Even more surprising is the brat's stomach. It's completely healed. <laughs> Figures. That child likely possesses an instant teleportation technique. I'm sure Gojo Satsuru's corpse disappearing was their doing as well. Are they delivering their wounded to that woman who uses reverse curse technique? That can't be. Healing someone else is not even half as efficient as healing yourself. Her reverse curse technique has always been fundamentally different from mine or Gojo Satsuru's, but even then, she doesn't have that kind of power. Which means that in just one month, this brat learned reverse curse technique. Oh, I was about to say, bro, does Yuji know RCT? Hold on, bro. Hold on, Yuji! Cause yeah, bro, cause I'm like, yo, he kinda healing his wounds a little too fast. Okay, Yuji, in just a month. That's crazy, though. Higuruma learned reverse curse technique kinda fast, too, though. Yuji does not fail to surprise me, bro. Every time this man gets on screen, I just, I'm always surprised by him, bro. Looks like his ability to use curse energy, the strength in his body, isn't the only thing that's improved. I suppose this means that cursed brat would be my main dish. Perhaps I can have a little fun with him, but what is this irritating feeling? What is Sukuna doing? He spaced out? Did that sorcerer's death disappoint me? The thought of needing someone else to fulfill me never crossed my mind. Exactly. If I want to eat, I eat. If I see an eyesore, I kill it. And if it entertains me, I throw it a bone. That's who I am. I haven't changed. The perfect thing to pass time until I die. Right. A way to pass time until my death. 
That's all other people are to me. You lack the hunger to take hold of your desires. Dang, the Jogo flashback, that's crazy. I live how I choose. If you're unable to measure up to that, blame yourself. I never thought about it. Ideals, desires that go beyond oneself. Their current ideal is simply to kill me. Those standing before me now are but martyrs, willing to die for their ideal. So just what is this irritating feeling? Men of the same stature challenged me 1,000 years ago too. Could that mean the one who's changed over the past millennium is me? Oh, that's a good point. Is he coming to a, a realization with himself? And you're the crux of that, brat. My opponent 1,000 years ago were other people. Their motivations, their ideals, I couldn't even begin to understand any of it. They seemed to me as nothing more than dying wishes. There were those who boasted strength they didn't have. There were those obsessed with themselves. But this is different. Our souls were forced to coexist within the same body. No matter how many times I break him, no matter how many times I break his soul, he'll get right back up. Because he possesses an indomitable ideal. Dang. <laughs> that is true, bro. No matter what, that man Yuji is getting right back up, bro. He is getting right back up. You cannot crush him, bro. That, that is something about Yuji that I'll always respect, bro. That dude is, oh man. What a character for real. The idea that a weakling far, far below me can rival me with nothing but strength or will and maintain ideals. That is something deeply unpleasant. My capabilities were simply too great. I wasn't bound by ideals. In fact, I loathed them. That's the sort of human I was. <laughs> Don't consider this to be a change of plans. Right now, just this once, I've decided to take your ideals and mince them to bits. Yo. Wait, what is that? A player has added a new rule to the culling game. Rule 15, authority to begin the great merger between Tengen and humanity has been transferred to Fushigiro Megumi? Fushigiro, in other words, Sukuna. Could this be? Kenjaku's insurance. That's what Kenjaku meant. This likely means Okotsu's surprise attack was successful, which in turn activated that. Regardless, Sukuna doesn't strike me as the slaughter of all humanity type. I always thought we'd be better off with him than with Kenjaku, who just wants to commit bizarre jujitsu terrorism out of curiosity. Even if we lose against Sukuna, as long as we took down Kenjaku, then worst case scenario, we'll end up a country that houses that ferocious beast. Kusakabe-san? I'll start by killing you all. After that, the remaining players in the culling game. Then, I'll complete the merger and have some fun with the new Tengen. Oh! Oh! Hold on! Okotsu Senpai! Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> Bro, y'all had me dead in the comments yesterday with uh, with the Yuta comment saying that he was like a bush camper and stuff, bro. Nah, I was laughing, bro, cause like, yeah, bro was hiding and then he came out the cut and sliced off Kenjaku's head. <laughs> that had me dying, bro. Y'all are funny. This boy Yuta came. Hey, it's a it's a fight now. Yuta's here. Yeah, this is about to go stupid. I'm not gonna lie, this is about to go hard, y'all. Oh my god. Put up a good fight now. If you don't kill me, everyone you want to save will die. Rika! And Rika came out the cut. Oh my goodness. Who the hell do you think you're talking to? Well, hello, Queen. The King of Curses versus the Queen of Curses. The right to the throne will be decided right here and now. Yo. <laughs> the Yuta entrance was crazy. Bro, that existential dialogue from Sukuna was, was something else, bro. That was really good. That's a good addition for his character, too. Like, I understand what he was talking about when he was saying he was too strong to have ideals. And any ideals that stood against him were crushed immediately. But the fact that Yuji couldn't be broken, and Sukuna was explaining that it's hard to break someone who has an indomitable ideal, bro. This man Yuji has an invincible soul, bro. And as a shonen protagonist, we know, like... They are strong-willed. Like, that's common with shonen protagonists, though. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like with Yuji's character, Yuji's character is shown as someone who is able to get knocked down many times, but they'll never stay down. They're always able to get back up. And I think that's why Yuji is a well-written shonen protagonist, because it shows us that regardless of the fact of, like, whether Yuji wins or loses, he is going to keep standing. And you have to, like probably mince him like you gonna have to like shred him to pieces bro like like how that how you put paper in a paper shredder and like it turns into all those pieces that's how you're gonna have to do yuji 
You can't just like take off a body part off Yuji and expect him to just just lay and roll over, bro. That's not him, bro. That's not his. That's not his ideal. Like that's what it means to have an indomitable ideal, bro. Like it's it's impossible to dominate him. It's like it's an invincible soul, bro. This man has lost countless of people, bro. He's lost friends, family, like you know what I'm saying. But he still manages to keep moving forward. You get what I'm saying, bro? Is like constantly losing and losing and suffering. There's no win, like there's no win for Yuji, but Yuji doesn't take that as like, oh, I should give up and this is it for me. Like, no, like he, he keeps going, bro. He keeps going and that's why I respect that character, bro. He saw Higuruma die in front of his face. Immediately didn't go into fetal position mode and didn't say, oh my God, woe is me type of deal. Immediately went on the offense against Tsukuna. He's way stronger than Yuji, but that don't matter to Yuji. You know what I'm saying? Like the man has literally like, He's not broken, bro. He was not, he's not broken in this moment. He's ready to go. In the end, Yuji might die. I'm not I'm not going I'm not going to put that to the side and think that yo, you know what I'm saying? The way that these characters are getting killed, I there there is a there is a possibility Yuji might die. But I would never think Yuji to be like that type of person to just roll over, bro. Like there's just there's no way to stop him. Yes, he might get killed, but there's no way to stop him mentally. Like he will keep going. His soul is is invincible, bro. He's going to, he's going to keep going. You're going to have to personally and him for him to stop going and stop moving forward his will is just it just can't be compared bro all right y'all chapter 249 my will shall be passed on rolling back the clock akotsu versus kenjaku in the lake gosho colony rika just as i thought kenjaku lost control of his cursed spirit manipulation which means they're all about to rampage oh yeah they're about to be let go oh snap wait my man yuda actually killed them all though <laughs> yo yuda and rika bro <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Kagone, add a rule. Transfer the authority to begin the great merger between Tengen and humanity to Fushigiro Megumi. Roger that. Rule 15, authority to begin the great merger between Tengen and humanity has been transferred to Fushigiro Megumi. One at least needs some insurance. I've already had Sukuna undergo the succession ritual. What remains is simply his becoming the parent of the ritual via the culling game. Tengen-sama! I won't say I've had a thousand years worth of fun, but I'm glad the one I got to play with at my end was him. Now it's up to you guys. I'm sure it'll be fun. Oh, yo. Here we go, bruh. Sukuna versus Rika and Yuta, bro. Hold on, this is crazy fights. The output of Sukuna's reverse curse technique has started to return. It might only be a matter of time before he can use his domain again. On top of that, Higuruma-san was killed. All because I wasn't here. Should I have stayed here and offered my full support to the Executioner's Sword plan after all? Maybe Maki-san should have dealt with the surprise attack on Kenjaku. No. Assuming the scope of the horde of cursed techniques released by his technique matches that of Shibuya's, the only way to have dealt with it and keep casualties as low as possible was with Rika-chan's power. Yeah, I don't think you could have really done too much, uh, Yuta. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put that full blame on you, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, we get straight to it. Come on. Oh, he caught his blade. By using precise slashes like a chainsaw, he can grab the blade without touching it. Oh, he let go of the sword. Oh, oh he getting jumped. That boy's so gonna get jumped. <laughs> Catches the sword back, slices. Yeah, yeah, nah. Nah, this man Yuta with the sword plays actually goaded, bro. Bro, Yuta was like the first main protagonist, then Yuji. Now it's like a full circle moment. Now Yuji and Yuta are together. Nah, this is this is peak, bro. Those are all just excuses. I wanted to kill Kenjaku myself. I brought about this whole situation. It's all my fault. That's why. Domain expansion. <laughs> all encompassing, unequivocal love. Wait, what? Hollow Wicker Basket. Wait. <gasps> Thin Icebreaker. Wait. Dude. That's why. I'll bring an end to it all. Here and now in my domain. <laughs> I see. So this is their next move. This man, I forgot he could like copy people's techniques, bro. This man, Yuta is... Oh my god, this dude Yuta is crazy, bro. According to Fushigiro Megumi's memories, the Cursed Brat's technique is supposed to be copied. They plan on keeping half my arms and mouths busy by forcing me to constantly maintain Hollow Wicker Basket. Otherwise, I'll be stuck by the Domain Sure Hit Effect, most likely the Angel's technique. In the Domain, copies seem liberated from all restrictions as well, but this plan actually hinges on. The Brat and his soul seizing punches. He'll come try to tear me from Fushigiro Megumi's body. New and old, the two main forces go on the attack. Well, aren't you happy now? You've finally been given a role. <laughs> bro, Yuji, Yuta, and Rika versus Sukuna, bro. This is not. 
This is too tough. This is too tough, bro. This man Sukuna is the all-time Yuji hater, bro. <laughs> like, he didn't say no type of words to Yuta, but like when Yuji got to the scene, bro, he started talking that talk. Aja, chapter 250. Okotsu Yuta's all-encompassing, unequal vocal love allows him to choose any one of his copy techniques to imbue the barrier with as the domain sure hit effect. That's an OP domain expansion, bro. I'm not gonna lie. The special grades domain revealed. Now, how does it work? His remaining copy techniques are scattered randomly among the katanas within his domain. Oh, wait. Only Akosu can utilize him, but not even he knows which katana contains which technique until he grasps it for the first time. While each katana can only be used once, their number is infinite. Oh. Wait, okay, that kind of, that, that's kind of balanced, though. That's kind of balanced, though. Because imagine if he knew, like, which katana did what, though. Dude, oh, snap, bro. Oh, here we go, bro. Yuta and Yuji versus Sukuna, bro. <laughs> Dude, he gonna start left, right, and Sukuna, bro. He get hit from every angle. <laughs> we can't forget about Rika, too, y'all. This is crazy. A technique applying an inviolable barrier to his Shikigami's path? Oh, yo. After my fight with Gojo Satoru, not only am I still unable to expand my domain, but the effects of the reverse curse technique remain sluggish. At this point, my total curse energy likely matches the cursed brat. On top of that, maintaining Hollow Wicker Basket renders me unable to use the world bisecting dismantle after extending the target of my technique. And then, oh, yo, dang! Rika threw Yuji like a torpedo. Oh, yo. That's from that one girl's uh, curse technique. What, Takako? I think that's her name was. Oh my goodness, bro. There's this. It's the same logic behind his effective attacks against the patch face cursed spirit. He can sense it. He's aiming directly for the barrier between my soul and Fushigiro Megumi's. He's rousing Fushigiro Megumi's soul that was submerged by the bath and disrupting the harmony between this body and myself. Every time I take a blow from this brat, my cursed energy output falls and my control of this body weakens. They'll just keep chipping away until I can no longer maintain Hollow Wicker Basket, which reveals the real risk. Their desire to use the Angel's Technique Jacob's Ladder to eradicate the cursed object within Fushigiro Megumi. Oh my goodness, bruh. Hold on. They might just do it. This duo right here? This duo right here might just get that done, bro. I am like putting all everything on that, bro. I, I swear. I swear this is this duo is actually fire. Don't move. Curse speech? Oh, Nah. <laughs> Finn Icebreaker. Ooh, you the, you the, you the, you the one, boy. You the one. Not the two. You the one, man. You the one. If there's anyone that could do it, it's going to be you bro. It's going to be you to end this, bro. That's crazy. Ooh. Look at that. They running too. Nah, this is, this is hard. This is hard, y'all. This, this is hard. I don't care what nobody says. This chapter, these chapters, man, fire. Oh, wait, what? Oh, but Rika on the offense, though. Look at that. <laughs> oh, if I don't make direct contact, I won't leave a fatal wound just as it was with him. Although I wouldn't say they surpass him in toughness. It's not just because of my diminished cursed energy output from the fight with Satsuru Gojo either. All of the sorcerers that have shown up from Jujutsu High have extremely tight defenses. And then there's the brass reverse curse technique. Not to mention this domain itself. It sure hit effect is narrowed to apply to myself and only me. Was he capable of this from the beginning? Something like this requires a very sophisticated barrier technique. Just what have you all been up to this past month? Hard work and determination. We cheated. Oh. Oh. <laughs> nah, that's, that's funny, bro. That's funny, bro. Nah. Nah, this man Yuji, this man Yuji was trying to say something cool and then, then Yuta came out and was like, we cheated. <laughs> if it weren't for the after effects of his battle with Gojo Sensei, we wouldn't have a second to spare to use our reverse curse techniques. He would have annihilated us in an instant. It pains me to admit it, but we're up against the strongest sorcerer right now. I don't even want to think about what would happen if we can't stop him here. Yo, dog, nah, this is... Oh my goodness, bro. The ink is already dry. Was that clairvoyance? What's happening inside the barrier? Oh, that's the uh, mangaka dude. <laughs> One, the angel's Jacob's ladder. Two, a space manipulation technique. Three, a technique that creates an inviolable barrier on the path of a Shikigami. Four, cursed speech. Five, clairvoyance. And the limitless? No, he shouldn't be able to control it without the six eyes. 
Has he played all his cards? Even Sukuna will be caught off guard by a technique he hasn't seen use. Which means that will surely. This is the one. Oh. Bro, he keeps grabbing that sword, bruh. Cleave. Wait. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, he could use Sukuna's curse technique too. Oh my goodness. This is my bitten by his own fangs. Yo. <laughs> bro. Anything that I'm not thinking of, it happens, bro. I didn't even think of that. Like, yes, he could use Sukuna's curse technique. Duh. Yes, he could do that. Oh my goodness. Why didn't I even think of that? All right, y'all. Here we go. 251. Sukuna is struck by a mock cleave. This is my... When could he have... You couldn't retrieve your final finger, could you? Oh my goodness. Yo! <laughs> I see. Quite the meal. Oh. Dude, they jumping Sukuna, bro. They are jumping him. Oh, with the knee to the face. <laughs> Dude. Oh. Uh, spitting the blood. Nah, that's dirty work, bro. Spitting blood on his face, bro. <laughs> no. This is my last chance. I'll bring down Sukuna and take back Fushiguro. Right here, right now. No resting now. Get up. Heal. 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 Heal! My cursed energy output and my control this body. Both are weakening quite a bit. Wait, they're actually about to do it. They're really about to save Megumi, bro. Dog, wait. Releasing Hollow Wicker Basket and taking the Angel's technique in a desperate gamble to fire off the world splitting dismantle. We've already accounted for this. Yo! We knew you'd try it. <laughs> he ripped off bro's arm. He wasn't able to use the expanded dismantle while using Hollow Wicker Basket. Even if it's a simple technique, he's forced to use chance, hand signs, or both. And I won't let him do either. Oh my goodness, bro. His slashes are weakening. I can close the distance without fear. Dude. This Yuta and Yuji combo? What's this? The brat's blood. It's bursting? Wait. According to Tsukumo-san's notes, on a general level, even if souls are mixed together to some degree, they'll never become one. Could it be that you and Sukuna were just a special case? I can't feel a trace of the soul that formerly inhabited this body. That seems to be due to the massive gap in the cursed energy between cursed objects and non-sorcerers. Her notes say that while a soul might sink deeper and deeper, it won't ever disappear or conjoin to become one. On a general level, if Megumi is an exception to this, we're in trouble. I added that part. There was a cursed spirit named Mahito who was able to take the souls of others and join them together to create a separate creature. As long as a technique like that isn't in play, I think it's safe to assume that two souls can't become one, I think. I believe Tsukumo-san's words. I'll shake Fushiguro's soul awake. If that's your plan, our technique might be beneficial. The angel's technique is the eradication of its target's technique. We should be able to eradicate Sukuna due to the incarnated form being a direct mix of his technique, his personality, and the cursed object. Given that the cursed techniques are invariably connected to the brain, the survival rate of the target is low. However, if we're able to separate the two souls and weaken the synchronicity between the cursed object and the body, the survival rate will skyrocket. Dude, what? Maximum output. Jacob's Ladder, bro. <gasps> Yo. Wake up, Fushigiro. The composition of the soul, from that angle, Itadori and Akotsu's plan had no flaws. However, that's enough. I've had enough. Yo. Within Fushigiro Megumi's soul, any will to live had already been extinguished. Scale of the dragon, recoil, twin meteors. No way. This strategy was common of jujitsu sorcerers. A mediocre plan that Sukuna under normal circumstances could have instinctively avoided. Wait. A surprise attack. On the individual assured of their own victory. Pierced by the blade of a monster with no cursed energy. And that's why. And that's why Maki Zenin will always be my GOAT, bruh. Always be my GOAT, bruh. I do not care what nobody says, bro. Maki Zenin will always be my goat, bro. Megumi, I got one question, bro. Why are you about to summon Maharagra here, bro? Why, why, why is your, why is your hands in that, in that motion, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, I need you to get up. 
Lock in, bro. Lock in, bro. We are we are on the verge of saving humanity here, bro. Then again, too, bro, I have to understand Megumi's point of view as well. See, Yuji, Yuji could tough a lot of stuff out, but there was a point where Yuji was in fetal position and couldn't even take it. He couldn't even go on no longer, bro. It took Toto's words of encouragement for Yuji to stand up again, you know what I'm saying? This man, Megumi's spirit was already broken. He was submerged in a bath of evil. His sister dying, like, the only reason why bro became a sorcerer was to save his sister. Now imagine that bro, like it's a lot of things that Megumi got on his mind that like he's going through for real. Kill Gojo, like that was his teacher and his like his father basically bro, so hey man. I get it Megumi, I truly truly do, Um, I, I just don't see him get, getting out of this one bro. It's gonna take a lot of, a lot of, a lot of mental self healing and a lot of talk bro. He, they gonna have to like probably smack him around a little bit to snap out of it, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not too sure, I'm not gonna lie bro. Rika, Yuda, Itadori, Maki. It's Junk Kaisen all over again, y'all. Well, there y'all have it, y'all. Chapters 247 to 251 of Jujutsu Kaisen. We are now caught up, bro. So now we're gonna be waiting for weekly updates, bro. Weekly chapters, y'all. Can't wait for that, you know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Uh, When do the chapters come out? For, for Jujutsu Kaisen, bro. Is it Thursdays or Wednesdays? Like, let me know, bro, because I'm not too sure. I, I want to know so I can, like, be up to date and, like, make videos on Jujutsu Kaisen when they come out. So, yeah. Y'all let me know that. Let me know in the comment section down below if you did enjoy these chapters. Let me know, like, your thoughts and all that. Also, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, bro. Thank y'all so much. Stay cheerful, stay motivated, and stay blessed, y'all. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Peace!